This is the second part of my video blog about 9-11 truth, libertarianism and why many of the videos on YouTube were detrimental to 9-11 truth. Now, Ron Paul supports non-interventionism and a humble foreign policy. This is strikingly different to everything that we've had before him um, because what we've had is we've had Bill Clinton and Tony Blair, they were interventionists, they called it humanitarian interventionism with Kosovo. Before then we, were had, we had the Cold War and so we've had the World Wars, we've had the Cold War, we've had in the 90s interventionism in Eastern Europe and now in the, in the 21st century we have the War on Terror which intervenes in the Middle East. But Ron Paul presents for the electorate, for the public, for the people, a paradigm shift, saying that the West, the nation states of the West, should not get involved in nation building, should not get involved in interventionism. So Ron Paul presents um, a path for us to get away from the philosophy of the neoconservatives, from the, from the cold warriors, and from those who allowed 9-11 to happen. So, 9-11, the trigger and event that allowed continued military interventionism within the globe. And that's why it's very important that we listen to Ron Paul and we support his presidential, um, his, his, the, as, a, as a candidate, we support him because he supports, he represents a paradigm shift for us who are against interventionism here. Now, while I'm against many of the videos in on YouTube is because they represent, they're saying, okay, 9-11 was an inside job and it's the Illuminati that are involved and it's the Freemasons that have evolved and it's a worldwide conspiracy and it's all, it's all explicit in Revelation, the book of Revelation, and it's the end of the world and they're the beast and this is that, you know, and it, and it links all that kind of philosophy and I really feel that this is not helpful for moderate people that are seeking truth, who are seeking truth from the government that have done, you know, first of all, Bush didn't want there to be the 9-11 Commission. He's been very, uh, it's been shocking his actions basically uh, after the 9-11 events. And we really want the truth. We want the Bush administration to we want, we want the truth of what actually happened in 9-11 and why it was allowed to happen and who was behind that. And I just feel that the videos represent um, too, much, too much conspiracy theories. So we need, to, we need to kind of step away and really go towards people like Richard Clark, who says, you know, how they used the 9-11 events to trigger military interventionism within the Middle East. We need to look at um, Chomsky's book, um, Survival or Hegemony, um, for America's Global Dominance. Um, and so therefore, I just feel that we need to continue to support 9-11 truth, but I feel that libertarianism is a way for us to support that, because the crux of what has hindered 9-11 truth is this idea that we need to be a global force, we need to have global dominance, we need to intervene in the Middle East and everywhere around the world. And I feel that once we deconstruct neoconservatism, when we deconstruct this idea that it's necessary for us to go to war with Iraq or go to war or, you know, probably have some, support some coup d'etats in South, in South America, we then will be able to then path, um, there'll be a new channel for us to really then find out what happened in 9-11 because it still hasn't been explained and as you can see there are many videos on YouTube trying to say what it is. It's the apocalypse, it's, it's the end of the world. So in conclusion, I don't think these videos are helpful and libertarianism will enable us to deconstruct neoconservatism.